All right, so I had a pretty bad setup for this initially, but doesn't look the best, but still. So I picked this thing up. Now, I had original, when I was looking at this, I was thinking, well, okay, Ryobi sell one there twice as much, which this one was 30. If you round it up, Ryobi one is 60. The reviews for the Ryobi one were, well, let's just say less than encouraging. Whereas this one, they weren't like, oh, you know, this is the best thing ever. This, for its purpose, it's great, which a lot of what people were saying. So, you know, great. So instead of me spending $60, I instead spent, well, the uh, 30 and got this thing. Now there is one for 20, which is a lot cheaper. Thought about getting it initially, but it, anyway. I'm gonna to try to unbox this. I looked for videos online and holy hell were they crap. The one I came across just made me cringe so much since all I did was, the guy took it apart with that really ridiculous, stupid music. It drove me mental. Anyway, let's try to get this thing apart. Let's see what's inside. So really, I wanna use this with a router with a uh, circular saw. Eventually with this thing, <laughs> can't wait till I can open that one. I need one more thing though, or two, or I don't know how much. All right, so obviously this thing's had a bit of a uh, fun life so far. Yeah, well, that's irritating. That is really weird. So the person who taped this up couldn't make up their bloody mind about what they were doing. Anywho, that's out. Ooh, bag of goodies. Ah. Okay, so one of the things I was curious about, yeah, see, to replace this, Oh, wow, that is, that is the shittiest. <laughs> All right, so one thing I'll have to do is try and replace this at some point. Now, for the meantime, since it won't be outside all that much, this material should be fine, but definitely want to build a replacement. In fact, this is the project timber for a, uh... oh, wow. Yeah. So I'll be using uh, this sheet of ply, uh, not plywood. Uh, this is dressed timber from my hardware, from the local hardware store. And it's almost as, well, actually it is as thick. So yeah, I can uh, find a couple of good sheets of this and replace well these with. The part I'm still trying to figure out is, well, making rulers. Ooh, yeah, that's a little thing that I was expecting. Still something else in there. All right, found the destruction manual. That is really not much. Alright, are we still recording? Yep, we're three minutes in. Okay, pretty straightforward. Man, I was really freaking out how I would... Okay. So, to assemble this... Let's see if I can... I'll bring this up. All right, so it says on here that I will need a hammer, screwdriver, and a spanner, which is included in the package. Okay, so there's a spanner. Now I might go and get my uh, other stuff if I see fit. So these are going to be the legs, right, but where does the, so foldable workbench, ah,
let's make some comedy, shall we? So is that going to be on the inside or is that going to be on the outside? I think it should sit more like that. No, actually. It goes on the outside. Oh, here we go, front A. Nope, no other front, so. Okay, that's how it sits like that. So we've got that set. I'll figure out the feet later. All right, so we've got that. Now this goes on the front and sits in like this. All right, we need four screws. I wish I could have found this online, I mean, yeesh. Step one. Use bolts, washers, nine. Nut and nuts, 13. Okay. Crossbar for legs. All right, so what fits? Well, that doesn't fit. That fits. That's too big. It's the right size. So I need two, three, and four. How much of this is catching on film? Mm, not much. Eee. All right, so these fit here. One, two, three, and four. All right, so they go there. Now I'm putting one washer at the front and one washer at the back. Better not tighten that just yet. Now, is this gonna work? Yes. So we got that through. Do not use as ladder unsafe to stand on. <laughs> uh, I should probably not say anything about that because people, people will be that stupid. Oh. Okay. Um. Upside down. Or, what the hell am I doing? <laughs> Is it just me or this could be potentially upside down because it's... Oh no, it's supposed to be right at the bottom. Okie dokie. I am hoping I'm in shot because I'm trying to line this bloody thing up. Oh, 
Ooh, crap. That's not good. I need a washer back here. Wait, did I? Oh, damn it. Don't forget the washer. Loosen. Try to get that back in properly. Now, is this going to be difficult? Now, there is one for like a hundred and fifty dollars, I've seen, hundred and sixty. And the, well, that's the Ryobi one. I believe, if I recall correctly. While the cheaper one of this was a hundred. And thinking about it, yes, it'd give you a little bit more stability, but I'm hoping to only use this temporarily. So instead of blowing like, well, a hundred dollars on this, I was thinking on one of these, I was thinking, well, I might as well save that up for when I want to build the workbenches. So, gotta be. Gotta be careful. All right, let's try to get this back one on. One, two, three, and four. And they provide literally no washers for that. Oh wait, do they? Yeah. They only provide half the amount of washers needed. Well that sucks. I will have to solve that later. Alright, that's through it. Loosen. So I'm probably not following the instructions 100%, but I'll do it the way I feel like it. So I've got to remember before I invest in using this thing, I need to pick up a couple of extra washers. All right, so those are in. I'm gonna close that off so it's safe. All right. I've got that part of the way done. Now the second part is to install this. Nope, goes upside down. go around the other way like that so I'll do the same thing again wash it on the outside wash it on the inside and then nut. Wrong way. Nope. 
Nope, that is the right way. Yeah, that's going to require a bit more force than what I can put out at the moment. Not as high as I was expecting it to be. Oh. Honestly, this assembly is going pretty straightforward. So one washer on the outside. One washer on the inside. That's in. All right, so that's almost done. And then these two, to show which way they're supposed to go? No. screw on like this. Four, so that's one, that's two, three, and four. All right, so before I go on, I still have Mr. Mallet. So if I face this on the outside. So what I'm doing is I'm facing this high bit towards the outside of the whole rig. These feet are not easy to get on. Oof. Feels like I don't even need the mallet for this part. These, however, yeah. the uh, video I saw online, I couldn't see these. And also on the listing. Uh, no, I think it, it might have been in the video, but I couldn't see those in the listing. So it's good to know they actually did include them in the packaging. Oh well. Ow. There's four of these damn things. All right, that's on. 
not exactly happy about the way that went on, but all right. So high bit on the outside. Side. Ow. Oh. Putting it on the wrong bloody way, wasn't I? That's up. Yeah, that feels a bit better. So if I max out these, just to make sure. Now I've still got to get these side ones on done properly. So I'm going to take a break here for a little bit and go grab some tools. Okay, so I'm back. Don't ask me about where I got this from. It was eBay. And they're listed all over the place. The listings come and go all the time. So this was from the hardware store. Definitely not going to help. Now I got to be careful, I don't crush the metal. You know what, if I was designing this and I wanted to be all serious and stuff, I'd go with using a spring washer here. I don't know if it's 100% necessary, but that's just me. All right, so that's in tight. Do that video with that mask I picked up some time ago. I really need to get that ready for hay fever at well, not hay fever season, but uh, in case we have some bad bushfires this year in Australia. If you can't tell by the date, it's currently 2020, so the 2019 ones were pretty bad, but who knows what the next lot are going to be like. Alright, so these should sit on like that. Hey. Actually, it would be a better idea if I did this upside down. That's better. Um, anyone seen what was that movie called again? One of those Will Smith ones. Uh, Men in Black. Hey, is that better? <laughs> A 
the Will Smith one. Or at least one of the ones he was in. The first one. Oh, wrong way. Meh. You know, how wide that thing is, it should easily fit under my drill press, which will be nice. So, hopefully I'll be able to do a future video of, well, me making one of these. Well, the replacements for these. I mean, there's a pointless sort of activity. That would be kind of fun for a video. Hmm. Now... As I'm putting these in, I'm not going to put them all, I'm not going to screw them all the way in. The reason being is that you'll need to give them a bit of play to get the screw lines lined up properly. And if you don't do that, you kind of get screwed. Not to mention with how shitty this material is, it's probably going to break very easily. So, don't muck around. Now, you can use a screwdriver if you want. A normal one. I honestly just find this thing to be a lot easier in certain circumstances like when you're working with an industrial sewing machine and then you tighten the screws up too much and oops and four. Oh, there's number four Okay, that's the reason why it's off, because it's not standing up where it should be. So it needs to sit like that. Alright. So that should now be able to go all the way down. And that's about as far as it now seems to start stripping the threads. <laughs> all right so what was going on i was hitting this onto this bit of metal here and it was triggering it to go the other way ah, the fun little things that'll happen okay so that one's in let's do these other three Probably a little far on that one. A little far with that one as well.
Yeah, now I think about it, I probably won't be able to get this same sort of um, laminated surface finish, but what I would still love to get is those measurements on the top, or at least my own. Because having rulers everywhere, especially when you're, well, I don't know. I'll find out. Doing a toner transfer though is more interesting. So I've got a couple of laser printers and you, well, if you know about laser printing, then you'd know that the laser printers themselves use plastic instead of ink, the stuff that it prints on. And that's easily transferable if you heat it up. So that ruler is something I'd like to be able to make. However, when it's, I've looked at doing like uh, printing your own rulers, can't seem to find generators for that which is a real pain because usually you can find like a ooh, random number generator or ooh, generate this picture generate that picture generator ruler no all right that's definitely not good the uh something broke off yeah this is starting to wear So the only saving grace about this thing here, you can put normal drill bits into it. All right, let me just check the video again. Okay, so I'm about 30 minute mark on this. Yay. All right, so that can sit there. Looks like it got some damage while it was getting cut. Oh well, nothing I can complain about. Well, I can complain about the lack of bloody washers for these bits here, it pisses me off. But like I said before, something I'll resolve later on. I honestly just think stuff like this should be, come with like extras. Although, nah, okay, that is a bit of a waste sometimes to include extras of parts. I mean, Lego, you know, that's a different story. Well, I mean, having a few extra floating around, like washers might not hurt. I guess it really just depends what you're doing. Honestly, out of this whole build, I wasn't too f uh, fussed about the frame. It's just these uh, timber bits. And the timber bits seem to be made out of MDF, which is not the type of material I'm very happy using. Although, because it's so soft, it shouldn't. Um... Honestly, think about this bit here as a giant ass bench vise. You don't want your bench vise damaging the thing you're also holding, but you also you don't want your... Uh, Bench of Light's teeth to be made so fragile that they'll fall apart if you try to put a little bit of pressure on something. Hmm. Oh yeah. I'm definitely replacing these screws when it comes to... Yeah, I'm just eating into them now. That's not good. Um... Outside of this video, I might have to turn around and do something about the... Yeah, I'm definitely not reusing these screws. All right, last one. So if you're watching and you're assembling this yourself, yeah, before you get a hold of it, make sure you get a comfortable screwdriver and a spanner. 
preferably two adjustable ones would even, well, two adjustable ones would make life a lot easier with this, to be honest. I mean, these here, they do have the screw holes in them, but, uh, well, this bit, but uh, honestly, I would have been more comfortable using a spanner. And just be careful not to crush the metal, that, that's not going to look pretty. I almost went a little too far on that one. Oh, I have to remember to take an antihistamine tonight. I suffer from asthma and hay fever. And anyone else who suffers from it and have issues during summertime, well, it's hit, I think it's spring now. Or whatever, it's uh, mid-season. So I've been feeling the urge to blow my nose and I get all these dirty looks occasionally from people like, ooh, has he been overseas or? <laughs> uh, everyone's always thinking about the moment. I get yelled at by my one of my supervisors at work because I always try to focus on things in the future. Ooh, something's going to prevent us from being able to do our work in the future. How's that going? Well, sorry if I like to focus on what can happen, what's going to happen, and try to find ways of mitigating any problems in the future. But that's just me. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. Okay, so apart from me not fully tightening these uh, things here, uh, honestly. I'd probably want to have these hooked up so these handles would go at the same rate. Alright. Yeah, I wouldn't hammer anything with this. I mean, uh, it's wiggling a little more, a bit around too much for me at this point, but... So these go in here. So my assumption is that because I don't have this here 100%, it's probably going to be a bit rocky. So how long did that take me? Okay, so about 40 minutes. <laughs> Whoops. <sighs> anyway, this has been my attempt at assembling a foldable workbench. I am just going to see how it looks when you fold the thing up. Otherwise, I'll probably get questions about that. Alright, so that's it folded up. It doesn't stand freely, so you have to lean it against something. Well, that's great, isn't it? I'll put it down on the ground so you can see. Yeah, that's how it folds up. Kind of pointless. Be nice if it could just freely stand like my uh, step ladder here over here, but nope, it, uh, it shrinks up like that, which is just great. Oh, well, this has been my setup video of the, uh, what's the brand called again? Craft Right Folding Workbench. Yibbidi yibbidi.